for any leader who want to lead this country must also look for backing from other communities. And uh, the backing he's looking for is backing not only from those communities, but to those leaders whom they can be able to work together in harmony so that you don't have a situation whereby you have a deputy president fighting with the president or a president who is fighting his deputy. All this is happening because leaders were not grounded properly. Leaders just came together for the purpose of winning an election. And the same mistake is going to be repeated. History might repeat itself, whereby for convenience, somebody wants to pick a deputy president. And this deputy president they are going to pick, they have no history of working with them together. And therefore the risks that we have is that because those who want to aspire as presidential candidates already know that the, the, the kind and the type of a deputy president they want, they really want to take over and, and, and donate power to those deputy presidents that they are going to, to hard pick. If they are serious enough, by now we should be able to know who is grooming who, who is going to work with who. And if it's about coalitions, can they be made in good time? Or you just want to come and hard pick a deputy president whom you can intimidate, whom you can impeach the following day. A deputy president who will be powerless. A deputy president who will just be a flower girl in your, in, in your government. And those are the issues now that we have, the challenge that is facing Kenya. That is why you see, even right now, you cannot be able to tell who will be deputized Raida Ondinka, who is going to deputize William Ruto, who is going to deputize Kalonzo Musioka or, uh, or Musaria Mudavadi. Because all of them, if you look at them, by now they could have shown us signs so that we can be able to criticize. We can be able to know the potential of those that, you want to, that they want them to deputize. This is the high time that we stop looking for who becomes deputy president, stop looking on who becomes the president only, but look holistically. Which leader are we going to elect? What type guide the ability of those leaders that you want? And that is why we are advocating as TSP that this time around, let us elect leaders. Let us look at programs and policies that are being manifested by our leaders so that we can judge the right way, so that we can have leaders who are not intimidated. We have leaders who are elected on merit, but not leaders who will be hard-picked by political parties. And we are still advocating that we should not allow any euphoria. No party should be allowed to dictate who becomes members of parliament, who become senators or governors. We must allow the electorate to dictate who their leaders are.